Hey there, Union Warriors. It's Lodius. Today I've got another match for you. This is on the map Crash Landing Final. It's a TVT match between Master Yoda and King Lions. Uh, about this map, the, the bases are 100 credits per base, pretty standard. You have 500 starting credits. Um, there's defensive terrain along the outsides of these center bases, which will be important mainly for infantry to push up and try and threaten the base. There's nice open terrain in the center. That'll allow for speeder movement. Um, and also, ex I expect to see some ground heavies come out and try and shut down these avenues of speeder attack and uh, just control the center. Um, there's there's med tiles. That'll be important for, for healing up speeders. There's ports on the outside. I don't expect to see hydronauts, but they could come up if they're trying to um, attack walkers from the side. Uh, I think a walker will be more useful in this type of map, though. Also, uh, probably we'll see some teleport attacks with mecha. Um, these swamp tiles are important because they're really, really bad um, for units to be on. And so they'll be easy to defend um, if if they if the enemy puts units up on there. Um, without further ado, let's get this match started. I have not watched this match before, so I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm excited to find out. And let's get started. Master Yoda opening up with two speeders. The Lion's gonna take his base captures. He's gonna put a plasma on the center and it looks like a mecha on this side. Oh. Well, Master Yoda's moving his speeders up, building some mecha, looks like. Three mecha. Uh, King Lions pushes a plasma into the center. King Lions is building two speeders now. Let's see how Master Yoda responds to this plasma. Master Yoda builds a plasma, but King Lion's plasma is in a is in a better center control position. King Lion pushing up some speeders, and his mecha. And Master Yoda caps the base of King Lion's, and now we're seeing teleport attacks. Okay, well, I don't know. Will King Lion's be able to break through these? He has some speeders, so I think he can. Um, Get through at least one of these mecha and then push his plasma right up to it. Ooh, King out with out comes a walker for King Lions. Okay, he's coming in with a speeder. He's gonna take down one of those teleported mechas. Get right up next to that cap so that he can open it up for avenues of attack. Master Yoda's gonna respond. He's attacking this speeder, moving on to swamp, and he's gonna cap this mecha. Okay, will King Lions be able to stop this cap? Um, teleports near that walker, threatening it, and plasma on plasma attack. Lots of teleports by Master Yoda, really locking down this position. Ooh, that's tough. And he pushes his speeder up on this med tile. What's the credit kills? Wow. I just gotta say, it seems like Master Yoda has a lot more material on the board. It's mainly because he has cheaper units. King Lion sunk a lot into this walker, and now... He's getting overwhelmed with teleports. Okay, what's King Lion's gonna do? He's pushing his speeder, gonna attack these teleported mechas while they're still in their cooldowns. Good idea. And he stops the base capture. What is he gonna build? He's building a mecha to protect it. Plasma's exchange fire again. And he's gonna make sure that these bases are well protected. Oh, but he left his walker open. Ouch. That's a five shot from a mecha. And it's looking very dangerous around that walker position. More teleports from Master Yoda. All over. That walker is going to have a tough time escaping. And it looks like he still might be going for this base. And some of these teleported units are being reactivated. There's three active mechas next to this walker. I don't know if King Lions can, can hold on to his walker. Good job with the speeders taking down these mechas. Walker's going to move back on the port away from the mecha. He's going to build another mecha there. Heal his speeder. Push this mecha onto this tile. Attack this mecha. And he builds another mecha. 
and another speeder back there. He's gonna attack the speeder on this med tile. Um, I don't know why he did that. It's it's always better to not attack something that's on a med tile. Anyway. Okay, it looks like Master Yoda's gonna attack the mecha back and cap this space on the side. So, and he's gonna finish off that mecha and move really close. So he's got this base cap threaded too. Takes down speeder here, and he's healing. He's got this um, this speeder back on a healing tile to heal. He's attacking this mech on this base. Wow. And he's building some mechas. I just want to take a look right now. Look at how many places he's threatening. He's got a speeder cap on here. He's built mechas that you can teleport over next turn. He's threatening here, kind of, but uh, King Lion's being able to pull out of it. He's got mechas all around here threatening this space and threatening the walker. He's putting pressure in so many different areas, and it's hard for King Lion to respond. All right. And these teleports are active now. This walker's really trapped unless King Lion can kill some of these mecha. And it looks like he's able to... Good job. He's clearing off these teleported mechas. So King Lions is ahead in the in the cut it kills. He's gonna try and protect this walker as best he can. Gonna heal. Uh, that one heal though. He's ha put 750 credits down on that unit and only used it in an attack once. Master Yoda is pushing up onto this space. He's gonna cap threat it. Uh, King Lions speeder should be able to stop it though. I'm just gonna put this guy on a mountain for defense. Looks like Master Yoda is attacking this teleported mecha. Doesn't want to lose control of this base. And now he's gonna teleport in all these freshly built mechas he built. And it looks like this base is locked down now. King Lion's being able to pull out of the cap threat here though. That's good. Unless. Ooh, is that speeder gonna take the mecha down? Oh, he takes it down! And now he's on this base too. Wow, I just, I'm just gonna pause right now. He is, he has a cap threat here, here, and here. And I don't think uh, King Lion is going to be able to stop all of these at the same time. This is crazy pressure with all these teleported mechas and speeders. Master Yoda's done a great job. Uh, teleporting and protect this walker. Oh, he's clearing out mechas. Is he going to stop this base cap? Oh, okay. So he's pushed the speeder up next to it to make sure he can get a hit on whatever. And he stops that base cap. That's good. Clears out a mecha. Good job. There's no mechas near here. And he's going to attack the speeder on him. Out comes more mechas. And an eclipse build. That's interesting. I think he's hoping to get a range 2 on this base, maybe. Eclipse isn't generally good for TVT. So, let's see, Master Yoda's responding with more teleports. That seems a signature thing in this map. Teleports and speeders. And now he's chipping away at the defenses around this walker. Just attacking all these speeders, just locking it down everywhere. And out come more mechas for Master Yoda. Look, he's damaged. He took seven health off that eclipse the turn after it was built. So that eclipse does not seem to be giving very good returns. All right, he's pushing up this way. Looks like he's gonna damage that. Oh, plasma down. That's good. But I think he needs to be focusing on these very, very strong base threats. And this mech is right next to this walker. He can attack it. And, and this one can too. That's, this has been very kite for King Lion since, ever since Master Yoda capped that one base. And Master Yoda is going to cap this base now with the mecha. Let's see. And I think he's going to take this walker down. Ooh. Walker goes down. And now Master Yoda is still below in the credit kills counts. But as far as positioning go, he has a he has a very strong position in this map. He's been pressuring King Lions the entire time. Just look at all these teleports 
another beast cap. His head cap threats. And that is GG right there. So it looks like King Lion's probably decided that he couldn't stop this cap and and he was doing very poorly elsewhere and he just lost that walker. And so I think I think that was a good time to surrender, I guess. Um I think the really pivotal part in this was this turn. Let's see. So he's built this walker. He has two speeders and a plasma. Master Yoda is way more mecha in speeders, and he just caps this base and threatens it immediately. And while this walker is able to respawn, it's just not protected enough from TPs, and Master Yoda's got so many mechas that he just teleport spams everywhere and his speeders are going everywhere and capping bases and Master Yoda did a really good job of, of pressuring King Lions just the entire game like he kept the heat on um, so this was a cool match uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video